Hi, my name is Kirsten Kelly, and I'm at Crystal Bridges in Bentonville, Arkansas. Crystal Bridges houses very many interesting pieces of art on the inside, but all together on the outside, Crystal Bridges is a beautiful art form itself. I chose the piece created in 1885 by James Henry Beard titled It's Very Queer Isn't It. This painting is 32 and 1 half by 26 and 1 fourth inches in size, making it just large enough to catch your eye. Beard favored portrait paintings and realistic animal paintings on oil and canvas. He is known for creating humorous scenes in his paintings through these animals and what is surrounding them. I chose this piece mainly because of the many underlying messages the painting depicts. The main message I believe this painting is trying to show is what came first, monkey, then man, or man, then monkey. This brings the viewer to a question in beliefs of evolution. Well, this was my first general idea of what the painting was about when I viewed it at first. Within the second time of viewing Beard's artwork, I asked a docent at the museum his views of what he thought the painting was trying to express. He told me to look into the more humorous side and ways of Beard's art. I then realized that this painting was more of a play on evolution as if it was a ridiculous theory. I also found many other theories as to what the portrait portrayed, such as the soul of Charles Darwin, renowned evolutionary founder and believer, resides in the body of the chimp. This painting is set with the portrait of a chimpanzee sitting in a wooden chair. His facial expression shows great wonder with his eyes looking up, pondering. A crooked grin lies on the chimp's face and his chin rests in his propped up hand. The other main contributions that make this piece what it is are the four objects surrounding the chimp. On its left, the skull of a chimpanzee sits on the table and below that, a large book reading Pythagoras' Theory on Metapsychosis. In the chimp's left sits a human skull atop a bound notebook. What draws this painting together is the pamphlet in the monkey's hand titled Darwin's Descent of Man. Through researching this piece of art, I learned that the chimp was an actual portrait of Mr. Crowley, a popular exhibit at Central Park Zoo. Mr. Crowley is known for his very human-like abilities, such as the ability to eat with a knife and fork. Beard would often sit outside Mr. Crowley's exhibit for hours and would even begin to talk to the chimp. Psychoanalysis best inscribes the methodology of this painting. Psychoanalysis works make the use of nonverbal representation and try to reveal unconscious ideas. Beard made this piece much more expressive than his other works by adding in other factors such as the expression on the chimp's face along with the books and skulls. It is a work of art that is very expressive and is taken a different way by each viewer due to their own viewpoints on the ideas such as my viewpoint being completely different from the Dawson at Crystal Bridges. When talking about the elements of art used in the painting, asymmetrical balance is a key part. With the chimpanzee being in the center of the piece, the portrait is equally divided on both sides, with a skull and a book being on each side. There are several vertical lines throughout the piece, most being parallel, creating balance. As noted in the text, straight lines are used to show right, honest, and a truthful message. The piece is not very colorful, and it is made of mostly neutral colors in the background. This makes the chimpanzee stand out drastically because it is the darkest element in the artwork. The only other contrasting colors to the background are the primary colors surrounding the chimp being blue, yellow, and red. The contrast between background and the focal point make the chimp stand out the most. The painting is most like other Impressionist paintings because it shows a single subject with an underlying message or meaning that the viewer takes into the point of view. The piece as a whole seeks to capture a feeling of the viewer. To conclude, I chose Beard's piece because not only do I like monkeys, but it caught my eye on how real the monkey looked. After researching this incredible piece, I really learned how many different ideas and viewpoints come about by viewing art. This is why each piece of art is so unique. Due to people's past experiences, feelings, and knowledge, each viewer will have a different take on a single piece. I enjoy pieces of art that make you think and relate to controversies that we may never have an answer to.